Assalamu alaikum dear students the topic that I am going to present today is universe in this topic we will be learning about the universe and the solar system students first of all I will tell you about the universe I mean what is meant by universe The definition of a universe is the universe is all of space, time and their materials including planets, stars, galaxies and all other form of matter and energy. In simple words universe means all those things that we see around us. All the planets and stars that we see in the sky at night are also part of our universe. Likewise, sun, moon, our earth are also part of a universe. Students, our universe is consist of billions of galaxies and trillions of stars. In this picture we can clearly see large number of galaxies and stars. In this slide we will learn about the light year because dear students our universe is so vast and distances in space also huge that we cannot measure them in kilometers. To measure distances in space we use a unit light year. We can define a light year as light year is the distance that light can travel in a one year. A light year is a unit of a distance in a space. A light move at a velocity of about 3 lakh kilometers per second. So in one year it can be it can travel about 10 trillion kilometers. More, more precisely one light year is equal to 9.5 trillion kilometers in scientific notations one light year is 9.46 into 10 raised power 15 kilometers now we come to the solar system Students, in this lecture, I will tell you about solar system and how does it work. But before going further, I will tell you about the concept that used to be in olden times regarding center of a solar system. In the past time, before the invention of telescope, by Galileo Galilei, it was thought that Earth is the center of solar system and all the planets revolve around the Earth in specific orbit. This concept was known as geocentrism. But after invention of telescope, and theories given by Kepler, Galilei and Nicholas Copernicus of Poland, a new concept evolved that invalidated the old concept. This new concept is known as heliocentrism. It means sun is in center and all planets revolve around it in specific orbits. That's all of 
students to today's lecture i suggest you peter moss book 3 page 1 for more information and concept about this topic dear students stay at home stay blessed allah hafiz